Good day and thank you for watching the ACS Library. My name's Kyle and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in under 5 minutes a day. Today's video expands on weather products. We will be covering pilot weather reports, or PIREPs. The information used in today's video was gathered from FAA Advisory Circular 00-45HOTEL, Aviation Weather Services. Pilot weather reports, often referred to as PIREPs, are observations reported by crew member in flight that may assist other airmen in both pre-flight and in-flight planning and decision making. All pilots are encouraged to report conditions to ATC, whether good or bad, to aid other pilots in decision making and planning. If conditions are forecasted to occur but do not, the observed conditions should be reported. PIREPs follow a similar format to the example shown below. Required elements for all PIREPs include the message type, coded UA for routine PIREPs, or UUA for an urgent PIREP. Urgent PIREPs contain information about tornadoes, severe turbulence and icing, low-level wind shear, volcanic ash, or any other weather phenomena considered urgent to pilots. Next is the location, coded forward slash OV, followed by a description of the location. In this case, our conditions were encountered 10 miles west of the Crazy Woman VOR. The location may also be depicted as a route segment rather than a singular point. After that, we have the time, coded forward slash TM, followed by the four-digit Zulu time at which the conditions occurred or were encountered. Next is the altitude or flight level, depicted in hundreds of feet above sea level. An unknown flight level will be coded F-L-U-N-K-N. Remarks may follow, for example, during climb, coded D-U-R-C, shown in our example, or during descent, coded D-U-R-D. Following the flight level is the type aircraft making the report. This is important to note, as moderate turbulence encountered by the flight crew of a 777 on climb out may feel closer to the severe category to the student and instructor blasting off 15 minutes later in their Cessna 152. Sky conditions are up next, coded forward slash SK. The sky conditions are reported as the three-digit cloud coverage identifier. Clear, few, scattered, broken, or overcast, followed by the three-digit cloud height in hundreds of feet MSL. Normally, clouds are reported AGL, but in a PIREP, they will be reported as height above mean sea level instead. Visibility is coded forward slash WX, followed by FV for flight visibility, and then the visibility reported in statute miles. The weather condition obstructing the visibility will also be reported in this section. In this case, we have mist obstructing our visibility. Temperature may be reported in degrees Celsius and is coded forward slash TA. Wind, coded forward slash WV, is found in the familiar format of three-digit heading followed by two to three-digit speed followed by a KT for knots. Turbulence encountered may be coded forward slash TB followed by a description of the intensity, type, and altitude. In this case, we have moderate intermittent turbulence encountered below 11,000 feet MSL. Icing is reported similarly to turbulence, only with a forward slash IC rather than TB. In this case, light rime ice above 9,500 feet MSL. This comprises the main body of a PIREP. Following would be a remark section providing a greater description of the weather phenomena encountered. In this case, a more explicative description of the turbulence encountered is provided. Intermittent moderate turbulence was encountered from 7,000 feet to 11,000 feet MSL during climbout. There is an insane amount of possible remarks that can be included, and if the coded language is not sufficient to describe the conditions encountered, then plain language will be used instead. No pun intended there. There is no way we could possibly cover all of the possible remarks in under 5 minutes. This video should give a good foundation for decoding a PIREP, but please consider it an invitation to read more about them in AC0045 Hotel. This concludes today's video over pilot reports or PIREPs. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I hope that you'll like, subscribe, or share with someone else who may enjoy it as well, and I would love to hear any feedback in the comments section. Safe flying!